What's going on? This is Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today we're gonna to be walking around a 1967 Camaro. Does have a small block 350 in it. Not very many power options, no power steering on this one. Super clean car. I'm gonna be going over all of it, pointing out any kind of flaws that I can find. That way you know exactly what kind of car you're getting. We do that here at Maple Motors. People come from out of state all the time, so no surprises. It's basically our motto. If you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. We're gonna be doing a test drive of this car as well. There's all the rest of them sitting out here today. And you can see all that here on the channel. Or you can see all of our inventory at maplemotors.com. I'm gonna go ahead and get started here. We're gonna start up here in the front. I'm gonna look around, anything I see, you will know about. First off, what did they do here? Look like they uh, put a little black silicone on the top of those for some reason. Front bumper's in great condition. Underside of it, look at all that. that that doesn't look too bad at all. The grill's in good shape. Oh, and these these work, and they're fast. They're electric. They flip out. Come along the car here. Tires are in pretty good shape. American Racing wheels. Front disc brakes. A little bit of a gap here on this door. You can see some paint runs in the bottom of it. Same as the right there. Don't believe that's supposed to be like that. Trim looks pretty good. We will be shutting the hood by the end of the video. Mirrors have been replaced as long, uh, along with the uh, door handles here. Roof looks pretty good. little bit of it's like paint runs down in there drum brakes in the rear lots of tread on that tire kind of like that wheel tire setup Back bumper's been replaced. Looks like new tail lights. Dual exhaust out the back. New gas tank. I will be doing some undercarriage shots towards the end of the video. We'll get all around the car. There's also close to 100 detailed pictures on maplemotors.com, so check that out, along with all of our inventory. So what we specialize in is classic cars. A little dark area right there. I'm not sure why. Looks like some overspray got on the car. Little black specks.
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get the keys and pop the trunk open for y'all. We'll check it out, see if it's been leaking any. We had a little bit of rain earlier this week and I just hand washed the car, so if it was leaking, it'll show me. Looks like they got a trunk mat in here. There is a little bit of moisture. New weather stripping. It could be the cause because it's not all the way down in there properly. But you can see that water moving around. Got a bunch in here. We're going to get all that out ASAP. So I'm just going to throw this out of here. The spring in the trunk is not holding it up. Uh, the trunk actually looks very solid. And the car's probably been sitting inside. Looks like a new panel over here. We'll look up, see if we got any leakage possibly coming from the back window. Looks like they cut all that out. It probably was leaking at one time back there. But yeah, we're definitely gonna get that out before we do anything else on the test drive. You know what, I'm gonna say that's a new one too. Taiwan. All right. Go ahead and see how it shuts. Shuts good. Let's go ahead and check the interior out now. Like I said, we don't hide nothing, guys. So if there's water in it, there is. I'm gonna get it out. And these cars really need to be sitting indoors. We know that, but we don't have a big enough indoor facility to fit 60 classic cars, so. Weather stripping on the door is new. Door panel looks new. Looks like they've replaced a lot of stuff in here. New carpet, trim, console looks nice. Headliners, definitely been redone. That looks nice. Dash pad. I'm gonna look under the door before you get going too far. Give y'all a shot up under there. All right, let's jump in here and start this thing up. Gas gauge is showing quarter of a tank. I noticed when I pulled it back here, it dropped. When you turn it on, it goes backwards. That's without me giving it any gas there. She is cold. She's been sitting back here a little while. Horn, couldn't get that, that to work. Windshield wipers look brand new. They even got the sticker. It says removed before installing. Somebody didn't read that, I guess. I don't know if the switch is out or the motor's out. I'll look under there and see if there's any wires I need to hook up. Let's try our blower motor in here. None of the air controls work either. Radio looks very old, so it's not working. I'm not going to stand behind the miles on any of these old classics. It's showing 11,000 on here. Brake pedal was sticking. Motor's nice and quiet. 350. Aluminum radiator in this one. Did fail to mention that.
We'll shut it down. Look at the lines on the hood here. Hinges sitting a little high and push them down. After you shut your hood, Give you an idea what I was talking about on the brake pedal. Pull it up. And they're off. Needs a good return spring. All right, we're going to do some undercarriage shots now. Then I'm going to get to all these other cars behind me and we're going to go test drive all of them. Lots of stuff to do today, so. Also got close to 100 detailed pictures of underneath these cars. You can check it out at maplemotors.com. Sorry, I'm banging y'all around. guys getting ready to move on to the next car here we're going to do a test drive on this one here shortly and i'll try to get all this stuff together uh by the end of the weekend and get it posted i appreciate you watching check out maplemotors.com for more information you can give us a call 615-822-4444 like i said got some other projects to get to here and i'll get these videos out for you appreciate you watching